Good morning, children. I am Sonali, ma'am, from Sanskriti School. Today, I am going to tell you a story of a girl named Geeta. Geeta lived with her grandparents, parents, and her sister. Geeta was the youngest in her family, but. Geeta had a bad habit of forgetting things. One day, her grandfather had asked her to bring medicines as he was suffering from severe headache. As Geeta was on her way to the medicine shop, she came across a sweet shop. She entered the shop and started eating sweets. She completely forgot about the medicines and her grandfather's headache. Another time, Geeta's grandmother had asked her to collect the clothes from the washing line. Geeta forgot about it and the clothes got wet because of the overnight rains. Geeta's father and sister also had to suffer because of Geeta's habit of forgetting things. One day, Geeta came home from school. She was very excited. She announced that the whole class is going for a picnic. The teacher had asked each child to bring one food item. Geeta said to her mother, Amma, will you give me the sambar? You really make a delicious and tangy sambar. Geeta's mother said, Oh dear, definitely. Why not? I will make delicious sambar for you tomorrow. Geeta was very excited. The next day, Geeta's mother started making the sambar. Soon, a delicious aroma wafted in the house. Geeta's mother called out Geeta. Geeta, I have to go to the temple. The sambar is almost ready. Dear, just add five tablespoons of salt before you pack it in the tiffin. Seeing so, her mother left for the temple. Gita's grandmother was there in the kitchen. She muttered to herself, Gita, ever going to remember anything? Let me add salt in the sambar. Saying so, Gita's grandmother added salt in the sambar. Gita's grandfather was present in the veranda. He also heard Gita's mother. He too came in the kitchen and added salt in the sambar. So did Gita's father and Gita's sister, thinking that Gita would forget to add salt in the sambar. Soon, Gita got ready for the picnic. She came to the kitchen and started to pack the sambar. Then she remembered, oh, Amma had asked me to add salt in the sambar. Gita too added salt in the sambar. Then she packed the sambar in a big tiffin and went to the picnic. At the picnic spot, the children were playing around. Soon, it was lunchtime. Everyone opened up their tiffin. All the children started serving their food items. Gita too served her sambar to everyone. All the children took a spoonful of sambar and tasted it. And blah! Horrible! The 
children started searching for water. Water, give me water. It's too salty. Gita did not understand what had happened. Then Gita herself took a spoonful of sambar and tasted it. And oh dear, it was so salty. Gita's friend did not eat the sambar. Gita was disheartened. With a sad and teary face, she came back home in the evening. Her mother welcomed her with a smile. Gita, how was your day? Did your friends like the sambar that I made? Gita bursted out. Who else added salt in the sambar? Gita's grandmother said, Gita, I have added salt in the sambar. Gita's grandfather said, Me too. Gita's sister and father, both of them said, Yes, me too. All of them looked at each other's faces. Gita got angry now. She shouted, Who told you to add salt to the sambar? Amma had only told me to do so. Gita's grandmother said, Gita, I thought you would forget to add salt to the sambar. So I added the salt to the sambar. Gita's grandfather said, I also thought the same thing. Gita's father and sister said the same things. Now Gita started crying. Her mother cuddled her and said, See Gita, all of this happened because of your habit of forgetting things. No one believed that you would remember. Gita realized her mistake and from that day on, she became responsible and started to remember. So dear children, the moral of the story is we all have bad habits within us. But the important thing is to change them and mend our ways. I hope you all enjoy today's story. See you next time. Till then, bye-bye.